<sighs> God damn it. Alright, well, as a lifelong and forever Broncos fan, I just want to say that that Super Bowl fucking sucked. Patrick the Annihilator Mahomes is just so damn good and simply has so much dog in him that I imagine he will continue to bring me anguish and clinical depression throughout the entirety of his career. Look at my girl Ice. She's like, oh my god, yes, home run. Bless her soul, she has absolutely no idea what's going on. I guess I should say congratulations to all of the Swifties out there. I have a couple of them in my friend group as well, and while I will never understand it, the amount of joy that I saw on these ladies' faces watching and living by curiously through Taylor Swift cheering on her boyfriend was hilarious and almost made me forget that my franchise has been confirmed and banished to the Shadow Realm for the next decade as Patrick Mahomes sons my team. Hello to all my fellow Broncos fans out there. I truly send you love. But we did get new 2024 movie trailers, and it's crazy how much in common for me personally the 2023 NFL season had with the season of the 2023 Hollywood box office. Two parallel seasons riddled with massive disappointments, astronomical amounts of movies and shows drowned in wasted potential, unprecedented fall-offs from major franchises, and in some cases, complete and utter foundational destruction. But much like with the NFL, with a new season comes new hope, baby. And well, if the 2024 Hollywood slate is anything to go off on, I don't know, don't get me wrong, it's going to sound insane seeing the season we just ended on, but it looks like we, the audience, are actually eating good. And while yes, literally a couple days ago, I dropped a video reviewing and discussing the financial disaster that was Argyle, or let's just say the first official flop of 2024, we're obviously going to disregard that narrative because as the title of that video suggests, I believe Argyle signifies and honestly reaffirms a situation in disease that has been running amok in Hollywood for quite some time, the death of the original movie. And let me tell you, we have none of those here in 2024. Some call it the year of the dragon, Hollywood calls it the year of the safety net. Sequels, requels, reboots, and rehashes are the name of the game this season, and while there is absolutely no way I will be able to discuss all of the new movies hitting our big screens for 2024, we can talk about the most recent ones released. But for the sake of time and integrity, we'll be leaving out honorable mentions such as The Fall Guy and Monkey Man due to those trailers dropping before the Super Bowl aired, and Twisters 2 because I didn't even know there was a movie about tornadoes that existed besides this. Crazy. But anyway, that's enough yapping. Bro, mates, peoples of all origins, this trailer went hard as fuck, but not like this hard. Ah! Come on now, it's the GOAT, with Hugh Jackman returning to play his iconic character of Wolverine, as well as donning the original suit, it pretty much solidified that this movie was more than likely going to be a billion dollar movie for Marvel, rather you liked it or not. Deadpool and Ryan Reynolds are one of those few character-to-actor relationships now in Hollywood where you genuinely feel like the actor cares and wants to be the character they're portraying, and not just looking for an easy paycheck because we've fallen on hard times. I imagine that passion is what convinced Hugh Jackman to come and test what Ryan Reynolds was cooking. Without the constraints of the MCU holding the film back, it sounds like we're going to be able to watch the same old Deadpool that we've come to know, love, and give our money to. Cheers to that. Okay, so not gonna lie, I would say I would be more excited if John Krasinski was still the leading man of this franchise, which sounds pretty bad because I'm just prejudging somebody else's vision, but the two Quiet Place movies were truly a breath of fresh air when it came to the horror genre. Suspenseful, intense, and thrilling, all while incorporating a common disability into a narrative that actually fits the story. And while it looks like A Quiet Place Day 1 will also be doing something similar, mmm, actually I think that gives them too much credit. They're pretty much just copycatting the same formula. But if it's not broke, don't fix it, I guess. But adding Hollywood's version of stakes and just increasing the quantity of monsters is a pretty bold choice. Whatever. I'm just here for some fodder fun. Nah, man, the Planet of the Apes franchise has absolutely no reason to be going this hard. 
And while Matt Reeves is no longer returning to the franchise, and a major time skip was already announced for the beginning of what I'm sure Disney would like to make into a second sequel, as I mentioned before in an earlier video, it just leaves the mind skeptical for a change in vision for what was already a successful run. And while I don't want to jump the boat too soon, because we have seen this before with Disney and the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, Caribbean? That trilogy is just god tier and stands the test of time as one of the most underrated and underappreciated trilogies to this very day. And well, I just don't have to remind you guys of what happens when Disney gets a little too greedy with their food. Yo, this is crazy because I didn't even know that Ariana Grande made movies. I remember back when I was a chicken in the Nickelodeon days for obvious reasons, but hey, shout out to her, I genuinely had no clue. And while even from the first clip of the first trailer, it became relatively obvious that this movie is going to be bombed to all hell online for reasons. The point is, I don't really have a reason to dislike Ariana Grande, and if she's going to try her craft at acting, hey, I'll give you a shot. And the cinematography looked pretty stellar, and her voice is absolutely incredible, so I don't know what else to tell you. But there you go. While I still definitely don't think 2024 will even sniff the heights of the 2018 box office, with some of these movie trailer releases, I do believe that we have something cooking in the oven. And with major studios like Marvel taking a year off to hopefully dive into and correct their course mistakes, hey, maybe we'll actually get a dinner that doesn't consist of high budget garbage. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I should say follow me on Twitter. I started a whole new account for this channel, so I'm gonna start promoting that more. Again, I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you did enjoy, why not click on more while you're at it? Otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Go Broncos 2024.